Hello everyone and welcome back to Baldur's Gate and Berogost, where we currently are. Just quickly before we get started, um, I mentioned at the end of last episode that I would be uploading this, uh, this playthrough, this series, Baldur's Gate, every Monday and Thursday. And that is going to happen starting with today. So this one uh, is up Monday uh, for you now as you're watching it. Uh, and the next one will be Thursday. Uh, Tuesdays and Fridays, I am going to be uploading the Medieval 2 Total War Scotland campaign, which is one that I started a long time ago and have not played in quite a while, but that's going to be uploaded until it finishes. Um, but in any case, we are in Baragost. We are walking into each other. We've picked up some friends already, Nira and Garrick. Um, again, we don't know how long these friends are going to be with us necessarily, because, uh, We've got other people in mind, but we're heading in here into the smithy, Thunderhammer smithy with Teram here. Kiss me, Blarmy. What do you wish done? <laughs> Hello there. Is there anything I can do for you on this fair day? Could you show us what you have for sale? Uh, now near a staff. Look, two hundred and fifty gold. Nira, you don't need that. We'll just sell it. Okay. Um, and now we could get that staff identified, but it is a hundred gold to identify something. Now there are these things. He won't identify the ring, but let's spend a little bit of money, uh, identifying these. Okay. So the first one is the belt of antipode, antipode. It's, uh, <laughs> it's cold resistance, uh, but it doubles all fire-based damage taken so essentially you're immune to cold but you take twice as much fire it's certainly an interesting damage maybe has specific uses or an interesting item and has specific uses the next one is a cursed girdle that uh, changes the wearer's gender interesting but he'll buy it for a full hundred which we'll sell it for we'll hold on to the belt for now you never know let's identify the staff actually change my mind it's just a plus one staff so we identified it for 100, sell it for 200, no problem. Now, looking at things right away, plus one short bow, plus one dagger, plus one darts, um, plus one sling. So there's a lot of things in the Thunderhammer smithy here that are a lot of just the normal gear, but then also a slightly better gear, plus one long sword and short sword. Excellent. Um... I was actually thinking we could get something, you know, different for Garrick or for Nira, but uh, they're not going to be with us too long again. I want to get our core group together as soon as possible, the core party members. So that is what we are going to do. Plus one leather, we're just looking through everything. So plate mail, we could buy plate mail, but I don't know that I want to spend my money on plate mail. Um... I'd rather spend it on uh, something like full plate, which gives you an armor class of one. Plate mail is three, so this is two better, but it is very expensive. And then the shadow armor, plus three studded leather armor. It's as good as the splint mail that I'm currently wearing, but uh, for leather. So there's some great stuff there, but we don't really have the funds to be getting a ton. So we'll head on out of here. And uh, what are the things we have to do? Zara and Monteron wish for me to travel to Nashkel, but uh, Monteron is dead and Zara is gone, so we don't really care about that. Jahira and Khalid also want to go to Nashkel, and that we will do. Because these are our foster father Garayan's close friends, or they were his close friends, and uh, they want us to go, so we'll, we'll go with that. But also, Landrin's possessions, a gnome of the Friendly Arm Inn, she, uh, just west of the Jovial Juggler, which is this. So this must be her house here, Landrin's house indeed. Now there are a bunch of giant spiders inside. So we'll quickly save, and then let's, uh, let's see what we can make of these spiders. Wait, first of all, gotta make sure that these antidotes are split up. Actually, yeah, no, once again, the important people have one. Don't care too much if the other people die. But don't tell them that. It's 
suppose that's not really the mindset of a hero. Mindset. Ooh, look at all these spiders. Okay, so... Um, you go that way. Let's see if you can go attack that one and hopefully tank a couple of them, Khalid. Or actually go attack that one. Jahira can go attack that one. She hasn't rested since we did the whole blessed thing. No, you can just set a trap. Just start shooting people, I suppose. And Nahal's Reckless Dwemer. What does this do again? This spell is the Wild Mage's ultimate last resort. When cast, the mage suddenly releases a flood, a sudden flood of wild magic energy in the hope of seizing and shaping that energy into the desired spell effect. The attempt usually fails, but something almost always occurs in the process. Okay. So, essentially, we're what doing... It it's time? a guaranteed wild magic surge. Um, and we can try and cast a specific spell with it. I wonder if sleep would be helpful. Yeah, let's try sleep. We'll cast it out there. Let's see yes, if sleep can sir. work. And wh what does your bard song do? The bard song. While the bard song is active, it has the following effects. Remove fear, protection from fear. Okay, that's not what you can just shoot people too then. Let's go. Oh, they all went to sleep. That's incredible. Okay, but the duration is halved. Um Wait, also what is that? What is what is this going on with Mira? Let's give them a so when something's asleep, it's prone and just you have huge advantages on your attacks, I believe. So look at that. That was fantastic. Well, honestly, well done, Nira. I will say um, we're going with the cannon party, but I do like having Nira as a companion. Wild magic is just fun. Nothing in there. Oh, look at this. A gemstone, some gold. The boots and the bottle of wine, just as Landrin wish, wished. And uh, we have the, um, what is it? The spider body, too. Gigantic spiders are even more disgusting dead than alive. Gross. Okay, so next time we head back to the friendly arm, that is a, an excellent... We're, then we're ready. We can complete that quest. What's over here? Loot? Uh, leather armor. We don't need that. But, you know, I don't think there's too much else for us to do in Baragoth. I mean, there are other things. We haven't explored a lot. The Red Sheaf, the Burning Wizard, Kagan's Shop, the Jovial Juggler. Maybe we should go to a few places first before we go on. I was just going to power through because, as I said, we want to get the our correct gang together. We want to get the people that are... Going, that we want in the party long term. And so we'll get to those, but let's just explore the inns a little bit, I shall at least. Bjornin? What do you have to yes. say? They did quite a number on me, those half ogres. There's a band of them fortifying themselves in the mountains southwest of here. If you could give them a taste of justice, that would do me proud. Half ogres near Baragost. Interesting. And Gurk. Aye, so everyone's heard. Everyone's a rubbernecker then, is it? Old Gurk had his famous cloak stolen right off his back by a paltry, by a batch of paltry Tazloy. Yeah, yeah, it's old news, and if you make one crack about the cloakwood being an appropriate place to lose it, at least, I'll put your liver on the menu. Now move on and let the l next people in line have their laugh. Okay. Angry Gurk. I got some cheap beer for you. Hello, friends. Welcome and make yourselves at home. Tr just try not to rattle the locals none, okay? Times is pretty harsh right now, and people don't need any more trouble than they've got. So what can I do for you? You can show us your services. Oh, they've got good rooms here, too, in the Jovial Juggler. Um, and ales. We actually haven't done this in any places, but we're going to do it now. We're going to get Lurian's Best Ale. Lurian's. 
Nothing. Westgate Ruby Wine. Nothing. Sometimes when you buy a drink, you can get a rumor that pops up, but... You have but to ask. Seems like there are none for us here. Well, we'll try one of the other inns around town first. You have but to ask. Nope, this way, Garrick. Come around. Yes, and please and thank you. We'll go up to the uh, Red Sheaf and check in on the Burning Wizard. And then I think we'll... Uh, I think that's all the inns that were mentioned to us. Then we'll head out, and we can always come back and explore Baragost later once we have our You're main party. You're at the end party. of your rope, I'll wager. You're at the end of your rope, I'll wager. Not that it's anything personal, you understand, but I'm afraid your time on this here ball of mud is just about done. Carlet. Why are you doing this? I've done nothing to you. No, actually, we're gonna say, I hope you've the will to back up those words. Aye, that I do. The will and the way. Shall we get to business then? An enemy? Already. We got a couple good hits in. Oh, but he also hit me once. Oh! And he hit again. Okay, well I guess it's the quick save back before the spiders then. As you can see, the game is... Pretty damaging. Pretty punishing. Uh -huh. So, let's go for sleep again and hope that it works out as well as it did last time. What is it this time? Nature servant awaits. You two. You have need of me? No, not you. You two just attack. Um, Wild Surge blinded. Okay, not good. This time. Okay, so we've got one down. What is it this time? No sleep this time, so it's not nearly as easy. But I think we can still take him. Alright, dead. Finally this last one the lead's been hitting away at. And there we go. For a moment there, at the beginning, I really thought that we might just instantly die again. We'll just quickly grab the things and move through. You have but to ask. Okay, well. That little brief stint out of the way. Let's go into the jovial juggler here. We'll speak to Bjornin again. Oh, if he can... Stop moving! Jeez, he's fast. Just to uh, get that pop-up in the journal about the half-ogres. And Gurk's thing about his cloak. Alright, now let's head up this way. And hopefully we can have a better ending or a better continuation of the story this time rather than some other person that randomly seemed to want us dead uh, killed us. You know, I'm, uh, I'm, t I'm just taking it a little too casually at this point. And the thing is, at level 1 here still, you know, where it's only 14 HP, once we get to level 2 and we have a lot more HP, it'll be easier. Oh, I... <laughs> meant to save beforehand, but I can't save now. I hope you have the will to back up those words. Oh, okay. Everybody attack, but Kaldrath, I actually want you to move off to the side a little bit. There we go. So he goes right at Khalid. Okay, Khalid hits him once. Ah, and then Kaldrath gets another big crit. And that's a level up for Emoin. Finally, we got a, a level up again. Other than uh, Jahira. So we've got a letter, shield, chainmail, battle axe. What's the letter? Bounty notice. Big surprise here. Okay. Be it known to all those of evil intent that a bounty has been placed upon the head of Kaldrith, the foster child of Garion. Last seen in the area of Candlekeep, this person is to be killed in quick order. 
This offer has been extended to all appropriate guilds. Those returning with proof of the deed shall receive no less than 350 coins of gold. As always, any that reveal these plans to the forces of law shall join the target in their fate. So that's an increase in price from the last time, I believe. Oh, Garrick, you can wear this? You can wear chain now. Your wizard spells have been disabled. As a bard, you eventually get wizard spells, but you don't have any yet, so... What the heck? Wear the chainmail, I guess. And I believe he does have proficiency in battle axes, but... He's got better proficiency in long swords. We'll just keep him with that. This is all stuff to keep perfect. Now, ammo it. Let's level you up. Gets an additional 25 skill points to distribute amongst here. Eight additional hit points and three lore. So not a lot, but it doubles her hit points. And uh, the more skill points are important. And we are going to put them all into open locks. The hope that uh, yes, she will be able to open locks faster. As you can see, different people need different amount of XPs. So for a paladin to get from level 1 to 2, you need 2250. For a fighter, you only need 2000. For the thief, it was only 1250 is what Imoen's at now, and now she only needs another 1250 to get to level 3. Um, so by the time we hit 2500, I'll be just over level uh, 2. Imoen will be into level 3. But there we go. Um, look at all these people in here. Purdue? Let's talk to you. Hello, you wouldn't have happened to seen a big, loudish guy with a dog's head on him around here, have you? Dog's head? You heard me, a dog's head. A breath that could peel paint, too. Uh, oh, a knoll. Yeah, a knoll. There's one old up in the hills west of here, close to the high hedge. Damn thieving ball of fur. Stole my short sword two days back. Never liked it myself. How much would that blade be worth to a run <laughs> Yeah, yeah, lay off the short jokes. They're older than your grandmother's uncle. The damn blade ain't worth nothing. It's a pride thing. I'll give you 50 gold pieces if you wipe his arse with it. You've got yourself a deal. All right. What is it this time? I shall attend to it in a I didn't mean to insult him, but I I did want to, you know, pull up the offer from him for the uh or the short sword. Let's talk to the bartender here and see if we can buy a drink and you get some rumors. Me. Could you show me what you have on offer? Ah, see, so here they've got merchant rooms and peasant rooms. Let's have some blood wine. No rumors. We had three rounds. Nobody's got anything to say. Alright, well let's tr check out the Burning Wizard then. See if there's any other would-be assassins in there. We'll drop a save as well. <laughs> I'm starting to learn from this time. We'll just have to save every time there's going to be any combat. Because, uh, as we can see, I'm being pretty lax with it. And we're just going to end up dying all the time. Zerlong. What is a thief to do, huh? You invest in some boots of stealth, you set up shop in the Badlands to the south of Baragost, and then wham! Along comes a tribe of hobgoblins and they tear the boots from right off your feet. Damn blasted bullies is what they are, and I'll pay a hundred gold to whoever can get them back to me, I will. Oh, look! It's Drizzt Doerden! And he stole fifteen gold from us. But maybe if we bring back his, uh... You want some whiskey? His boots. He'll uh, return it. Been a few days since I've seen as many strangers as you brought with you. Hope the town treats you kindly. What services do you have to offer a weary band of travelers? Also very good rooms. Anything good on tap? It's this one. Winter wine? Westgate ruby wine? Oh! A rumor! See? So this is what happens. There's like a random chance of it based on what you're drinking. I hear relations haven't been too good between the two powers in this region. The Grand Duke supposedly accused Alm of ra all the raiding that's been going, that's been happening along the roads. Not a good thing to go accusing the most powerful country in the Western world. Yeah. Well, we'll see. It shall be as you wish. Rising tensions with Alm. All right. You know what? I think we could do with a, a, a night's rest. Chihira is only a little damaged, but Kaldrith is a bit damaged. Nira is down to half. And this would allow... 
people to rememorize their spells. Ah, and since Jahira leveled up, uh, I don't get two casts of Bless. Bless is a good one. Just raises everyone's attack and damage rolls by one, and their morale by one, so we can buff ourselves going into fights. So let's have a rest at this royal room. A truly luxurious experience at an equally exorbitant price. Beds filled with the softest down, draped with the finest Kalimshan silks and linens. Nearly as restful as a week in a lesser room, though who but royalty could afford the cost? Well, we can. We're basically royalty. We'll have a nice long rest, recover, and uh, restore some spell slots. Done. We've rested for eight hours, and healing spells cast on rest until fully healed. That's something that you can uh, enable in this game. It's a setting. Because just resting for eight hours does not necessarily heal everything. But then we are going to travel. Now, Nashkel is way down there, and that is our destination, which is also where we're going to find... Uh, further companions for our main group that we wish to keep uh, but we have to travel a little bit through some wilderness to get there so let's go ahead okay we're in the night it's all spooky quiet and dark Baragos to the north yes indeed this is true Ah, some ogre lawns. Really oh, please don't kill me again. Did somebody hit them? Oh, there we go. Thanks, Imwin, Khalid Jahira, and then finally Kaldreth. Oh, big hit from Kaldreth. There we go. Well done. Eight gold and a letter. My dearest Miriam. The road has been difficult, but I have arrived safely here in Arm. I think it would be wisest if I returned by sea, however. Perhaps sometime after the first snows have fallen. I trust this letter reaches you. The halfling I hired to carry it struck me as an honest enough chap. Copy that note. Keep that. So, Miriam, who I think is someone in Baragos that maybe we can... When we return, we can give that to. Yeah, the, there's the poor halfling. But at least we found justice and killing the ogres, and we'll see his task completed. Nash the flaming oh, fist. Flaming Fist. You there, you're under arrest for banditry and highway robbery. We know that you're part of a bandit group who's been terrorizing the coastway. Give yourselves up, or there'll be trouble. You've got the wrong guys. We're not part of any bandit gang. Really now, why should we believe you? Look, sir, we really don't want any trouble. Like you, we're hunting down bandits in the region. So you're hunting the bandits? Well, who hired you to take on the bandits? Or are you just doing it out of the goodness of your heart? No one's hired us. We're adventurers who are just trying to help out the people of the Sword Coast. All right, maybe I was wrong about the bunch of you. You're free to go. Yes. Yeah, we're not I the bad guys. Talk. I mean, we're not specifically setting out to hunt the bad guys. We're just trying to figure out what's going on at Nashgill and with the iron and whatnot, but... You know, we'll we'll bring down any bandits we come across, of course. Oh, a gibberling! Ooh, a few gibberlings! Whoa! Whoa! Seven slashing damage to Khalid. Jeez. We really do gotta get some level ups so that people have more HP than this. But for now, let's cast a little Cure Wounds on him and heal that up. Okay, so that we're in good shape. I'll continue. We're getting closer. Ah, and it's back to daytime. We were traveling for four hours there. Let's see what's here. And once again, I wouldn't be exploring more of the regions. I just, I kind of want a beeline to get us our main party, and then we can 
sort of settle in, sink in, take our time, and explore around as much as we'd like. A hobgoblin? Oh, good shots? Oh, quite a few. You guys go after the archers. What is it this time? Good hits. So as you can see, that one that turned yellow, its little circle, and ran away, uh, that's morale failure. So that's, uh, they're afraid, they're running. Yeah, it happens uh, with certain monsters. If you damage them enough, their HP gets low enough, they just will turn and run. That's probably not worth much. Oh yeah, didn't we already agree that uh, that you don't get a lot of money for weapons to sell? Whatever. We're not that rich yet that we can... We're just going to pass this loot by. Oh, there it is. See? Eventually their morale recovers enough to... to turn and fight, but... Cool kettles family amulet. Oh, the poor family was just murdered there. We'll continue following our way along. Following our way down the road on the journey there. So yeah, that, uh, that fear, that yellow circle, that generally generally will only happen of morale failure with enemies, I think. Um, however, your companions and you can be feared, can be frightened, uh, if somebody casts, like, the fear spell on you or something else. Oh, is that so? Lord Foreshadow. <laughs> well, don't you just add to the local color. Quite the smashing bit of dressy wear there. I'll have to look into such sundries when I next attend one of Lord Ribald's full costume dress affairs. Full dress costume affairs. I'd be the talk of Neverwinter, I would. Am I to understand that you are from that faraway city? Oh, I actually hail from Waterdeep. The great city of splendors has much more in the manner of social luxury suited towards my particular tastes. I do, however, make a point of keeping in touch with Neverwinter, though I have only once visited previ previously. It was quite popular in those nights, if I recall correctly. I'm going to make a second trip in the coming year, and I'll wager it will be as popular again. Ah, uh, funny stuff. Ah, but here we are. We've made the trek from Baragos down to Nashkel. And here is the town itself. With your hurried flight from Candlekeep barely behind you, the troubles facing the Sword Coast seem an unfamiliar blur to your fractured nerves. Gorain would not have you sit idle, however and perhaps investigating local concerns will shed some light on your own predicament. How the iron shortage or the trouble in the Nashkel mines could possibly be linked to you, you have no idea. Indeed, how could all it be linked to us? All this all this adventure, how do you manage it? <laughs> Until now, I was barely able to keep my head above water. Yet here with you, it seems almost easy. There is safety in numbers. Safety in numbers, eh? Fair enough. I guess I just never really had a traveling companion before. My life on the road has been a solitary affair, full of cold nights and colder dreams. It's enough to make a girl want to head back to High Forest. High Forest? Is that where you come from? That's me. Born and raised in the thicket. At least until my mistakes piled up high enough to come crashing down on me. What drove you out of your home? You know, this and that. I was never a very good student of magic, and part of that could be attributed to never studying. I ended up flubbing a few spells, and uh, here I am. It would appear that you glossed over some of the finer details. A naming or two, if you don't count the second degree burns. Completely accidental, and everybody lived. 
At least I'm pretty sure everybody lived. Accidents happen, even horrible ones. You really know how to get someone to open up. Why, yes, let me just share intimate details about my past. <laughs> you put me right at ease. Take your time, tell me when you're ready. During our magical training, we were supposed to summon a sphere of fire. Mine got away from me somehow. One moment I was concentrating, the next moment my classmates were rolling on the floor screaming. Perhaps your poor teachers are the ones to blame. No, I did it. It was my fault. Accident or not, I should have been more careful. I could have taken responsibility or fetched a bucket of water. Instead, I ran away, terrified of what I'd done. You didn't even try to help? Horrible, I know. Uh, this part isn't voice acted for some reason. Afterwards, I ran into the woods and couldn't bear to go back to face the consequences. I snuck back into the village now and then for food and once to leave a note for my parents, but eventually I had to leave. I took to wandering High Forest, but I kept running into the wrong people and doing the wrong thing. Eventually, Turlang the tree and grabbed me and said, take a hike. Well, maybe not in those words exactly. And so you left on your journey. And so I left High Forest. I've been wandering for a while now. I've got a few ideas for a destination, but I'm still considering them. Come, let us continue this journey together. Interesting. Amnian soldiers there. Um, so... Yeah, that's a bit of Nira's story kind of coming into play. Which is quite interesting, except that, uh... Unfortunately, Nira, I don't think you'll be with us for too long. But here we are now in Nashkel. Stand away, citizen! Bardolin, identify yourselves. I am Kaldreth, and this is my band of fellow adventurers. I hear that this is a troubled region of late. Allow me to put ourselves at your disposal during our stay here. If you're seeking to resolve troubles, welcome. If you're seeking to cause them, kindly take it elsewhere. Things are not good here, Keldreth. What things aren't good? All I've heard are rumors and vague suspicions. Aye, what is good around here anymore? Our iron is rotten and there is talk of demons in the mines. The lower levels have been all but abandoned until this crisis passes. And then there's the question of Commander Brage. They've stripped it, his title of him of that title, but I use it yet. Killed his wife and children in a rage one night and all who saw him. Then he tore himself away and headed for the hills. He is out there and still, still, and still we mourn, as much for him as for those he's taken. Fie on you now. You have brought tears to the eyes of a soldier. Okay, so things are bad in Nashkel. Rumors of demons in the mines, iron that is tainted and bad, lower levels abandoned. Hmm. Let's see. Um, Baron Gaskill. Hello there. I recognize Jahira in your group, so you must be the adventurers I was expecting. I am Baron Gaskill, mayor of Nashkel, and I am happy to welcome you. I am sorry we had to meet under these circumstances. What exactly is the trouble here? I can't believe you haven't guessed. Have you heard of the iron shortage? Well, Nashkel is in the thick of it. Our mines are all but shut down because the workers continually go missing, and what ore we do get is tainted somehow. I would send in the town guards, but we need them to protect our citizens from the bandits that raid our caravans. We need you to find out what is wrong in the mines southeast of town. I will do what I can. Thank you. You will be the toast of the town if you can help. All right. Well, we have our our uh, orders then, except they're not really orders, but we have our task ahead of us. Journey into the Nashkel mines and see what's going on. Ublek? Oh, no, say not another word. So soon. <laughs> I would not think of making you wait but a moment for your just reward. When the council told me that they had procured Grey Wolf to rid the woods of the bandit Tonquin, I knew we could expect swift justice. I would not have pre predicted success this quickly, but who else could be striding into town looking, uh, looking as you do? 
please accept this meager sum of 200 gold pieces, as well as the heartfelt thanks of all of Nashgal. You must have made some mistake. I am not this Grey Wolf. Keep your money, it's not mine to take. You are not Grey Wolf the Bounty Hunter? Oh, sweet helm! I almost gave 200 gold pieces to a complete stranger. The captain best not hear of this. He'd have my hide. Thank you for your honesty, stranger. There are those who would not have done as such. And the reputation Gorion increased by one again. Well, it's good to hear Gorion would be proud. And who could this be? A lone hero standing. Stand and deliver. That my hamster might have a better look at you. I agree, Boo. They look to be friendly. Greetings, we are Minsk and Boo. We have traveled far to explore this land, but now my heart, my charge, Dinah here, has been taken from us. Twas Knowles, and they have tra once we have tracked them, I will beat sense into their heads until they release her. Accompany us, and bards will sing the deeds of Minsk and Boo. And friends. The classic dilemma of a damsel in distress? How could anyone decline? Take heart, fellow adventurers, for you have curried the favor of Boo, the only miniature giant space hamster in the realm. My friend and companion ever since my <laughs> head wound, he will lead us to victory. Onward to the Knoll stronghold in the west. Very not, we must go soon. But now we have to deal with our party. I think... Uh, we're going to remove Nira for now. Actually, we're going to remove Garrett because he doesn't do much right now at this level. And that'll be it. Yes, sir. Ah, well, I suppose it'll give me the opportunity to work on this new ballad I've been thinking of. I bet you'll never guess who the protagonists are. Garrett is nice. I like him in the party as well. He's a, he's a nice guy. He's a good one. But we have Minsk, who is a ranger. Uh, now, he kind of fills up the same role as us a little bit because he's got proficiency in the two-handed sword, same as we do. Um, but uh, and but he's also got proficiency in two-weapon fighting style a little bit, mace and longbow. What is our thing with the longbow? Oh, why do we have that equipped? 19 and 3 to 8. Which is 17 and 7 to 7. <laughs> Let's see what Minsk is like with the longbow. He's 17 and 8 to 17. So he actually has better strength than us because ours is 1872, his is 1893. So slightly better damage bonus from strength. Ours is plus 3, his is plus 5. Yeah, so significantly. 19, 3 to 8. You know, I, I generally do have Minsk, when he's in the party, be a big two-handed sword warrior, just like I am, but perhaps he'd be better as another archer. Or maybe we'll just leave him with uh, both options for now. We'll see. We'll move him. So, intimidating. so many people. Poor Khalid. Intimidated. And you know what? Actually, I think... I do think we'll we'll just remove Nira here. You know what? Uh-huh. Seriously? After all we've been through? Obviously I had the wrong idea about our friendship. When you're ready to apologize, you can find me at the Friendly Arm Inn. Perhaps we'll meet again, Nira. Yes? Well, she took it less well than Garrett did, certainly. Talk. It's the Garrison Hall. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I think we're fine with this. We'll just keep it as the group that we have. Now that we have oh, yeah, Minsk and Boo, that's two heroes, basically, so we're still at six. Really, when you think about it. All right, let's go. Now that we've got Minsk with us, let's book ourselves a stay at the inn here, the Nashkel Inn. And then we will prepare ourselves to, uh... Minsk said he needs to go rescue Dinah here. Now, the Nashville mines are just beneath us, but this is the Knoll stronghold over here with Dinah here in it. I think, even though we've been tasked to get to the mines, I think we're going to go to the Knoll stronghold first um, and rescue Dinah here. I mean, that's a pressing quest, and how can you say no to Minsk and Boo? 
So we'll go to them first, and then we'll head down to the Nashkel Mines. But first off, let's go in here. It may be a touch unladylike, but I'm gonna slit your throat, I am. Oh, really? Okay. Nira, just fancy my luck seeing you stroll in here, bold as day. I expected a hunt and a chase from the description, but who am I to argue easy coins in the purse? May the Lord of Shadows guide you swiftly to your death. I will defend myself if I must. If you wish to die, then attack as you will. By all means, defend as you wish. If you were to simply lay down and die, there should be no intrigue in this profession at all. Oh, she's casting a spell right away. Okay, let's magic missile to try and stop that and I guess everybody else attack? Actually, Bless. Bless is a great one to use in this fight. And you know what? We're close enough. Just hit her with the sword, Minsk. You do better with the sword. Oh, she took four damage, but it didn't interrupt her spell casting. Eee. Cast rigid thinking on Khalid. But he still seems to be doing okay. Okay, this is when things get bad. Uh, both Khalid and Jahira have been held now. And another spell. Oh, 14 damage from Kaldrith. And then 17 from Minsk. And Kaldrith saved on the spell. Okay, yeah, that hold person spell is a really good one. But we brought them down. Club, shield, split mail. Oh, we're, we're full up. Let's send the spin, split mail on to uh, Minsk. Because he is a mighty warrior and can absolutely hold more than he currently has. Why don't we give you the potion of invulnerability? Yeah, much better than the leather armor. What is it this time? And a letter. Let us see what we have here in this letter. Nope, that's the one from Marianne. A bounty notice. Another one. Let's see what this is. Be it known to all those of evil intent that a bounty has been placed upon the head of Kaldreth, the foster child of Gorion. Last seen in the region of Baragos, this person is to be killed in quick order. The subject is be to be considered a formidable foe and is likely to have well-equipped traveling companions. Those returning with proof of the deed shall receive no less than 680 go coins of gold. So our bounty has almost doubled and we are considered to be uh, dangerous, formidable, and with well-equipped companions. All right, well, we've got a helmet here that's unidentified. That's neat, so we'll keep an eye on that. And Minsk has joined our side. I said you back. So, wait, so what's the difference? 18 and 4 to 9, 16 and 9 to 18. Hmm. Oh, that's with Bless, so we subtract one of these. So it's 19 and 3 to 8 versus, um, versus 17 and 8 to 17. So, <laughs> the Thacko isn't much better, but the damage is certainly a, certainly a lot better on the, uh, the two-handed sword. You know what, maybe we'll have to wait and see till he levels up and gets another proficiency bonus and Let's then can more be more of an archer as well. Yes. Cool. Oh, cause Minsk actually does also have a special... Uh, he's got special abilities charm animal which is a good one also berserk which is pretty good and pretty good with uh i mean he gets bonus to strength and dexterity becomes immune to charm confusion fear feeble mind hold level drain maze stun and sleep he also gains 15 temporary hit points which are taken away from him at the end of the berserk spree possibly knocking him unconscious <laughs> All right, and here we are just waiting for these two to come up with our held. So we'll just sit here and wait a bit. Oh, and there they are. Yes, it shall be as you wish. Well, it's already been an eventful stay in Nashkel. We'll see th how things are. But that is going to end it for this episode. It's drawn on a little longer. But uh, we had to take the extra time for our hero, Minsk and Boo. They're two heroes to join us. 
Um, so yeah, this is uploaded every Monday and Thursday. So the next episode will be coming out Thursday. So keep an eye out for that. Medieval 2 playthrough is going up tomorrow on Tuesday, as well as uh, this Friday. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.